Tom, what are your memories now, looking back at that wartime period? Well, because it was you know, quite unpleasant at times, but you were all friends, you were in part of a team. Your whole object was to beat the enemy, and whatever the case, we all got to be good comrades. Many people have described you to us as a war hero. Do you see yourself in that way? No, not really. I was just a soldier you know, like with other people fighting for the same cause. You have all these medals that you're wearing today. How important are those medals to you? Well, I think they're very important because it showed that I was there and it's getting to a stage where so many people don't remember anymore what it was like. Uh, and maybe when they see some of these, they maybe made them think a little bit. But I hope we don't have any more wars, because um, they're fruitless things. Nothing comes to a real benefit out of it in the end. Did you have any moments in the war when you felt that you may lose your life? I never thought of that bit. Um, you thought, that maybe you'll get through this one and we're going to win, because that was all the, what we set out to do, was to win. At the end of the war, I realised that I had survived uh, virtually unharmed and uh, that I have been one of the very lucky ones. When you were in Burma, a very special lady came to perform for the troops, Dame Vera Lynn. Yes. Um, to this young lady came out into the jungle and she was so nice and so cheerful. Had a little song for you and chatted round. It put people's spirits up quite a lot. Dame Vera, when you raised all your money with your walking, she wrote to you, didn't she? Yes. She was congratulating me on the effort that we'd gone through to raise all this money. It was a little kind letter from her and that came the very day she died. Let's listen to a bit of Dame Vera. Wonderful, Tom, that you were singing along there because you remember every word. That's right. She was a lovely person. So it is 100 the new 40. It must be, mustn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what would it really mean being 100? I'm no different to what when I was 99. I mean, or when I was 50, really. You should pass look a bit older, a bit, a bit worse for wear. <laughs> and, uh, but inside, I haven't changed. I'm mean, inside. I'm just the same. Are you going to keep going, Tom? Do you got you've got plans, ambitions? I've got to get my leg working better so I can <clears throat> travel a bit more. Um, maybe get my car back and start driving the car again. You're going to keep driving. Yes. Are you going to try and keep to the speed limit? No. <laughs> <laughs> Where else would you like to go, Tom? You can go anywhere. The whole world wants to meet you. Yes, I'd like to go to um, America again mm. uh, because I've heard of Route 66, which yes. apparently goes from east to west. It's fantastic. What car would you like to be in? Cadillac or something? No, I don't want American stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I get a nice Bentley. I feel a TV show coming on. <laughs> what you're going to need is a guy to drive you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Piers and Tom on Route 66, I like it. <laughs> of all the accolades that you've had in the last few months, which one for you meant the most? There's only one, really, and that was being knighted by the Queen. But there's lots of other people as well who have been very kind to me, have said nice things. So to everyone, say thank you very, very much. Famously, you always think tomorrow will be a good day. Yeah. What do you think tomorrow will bring for you, Tom? I'm looking forward to tomorrow, and today is a good day, and look at me, I've got a good day with you. It's been a, a great pleasure and an honour to have a meeting with you under such nice circumstances. Thank you so very much, Jupers. Well, Captain Sir Tom, I've got to say, the pleasure, the honour, 
The privilege has been all mine. I'm so glad that you came into all our lives at such a difficult time. You were this beacon of light and hope and positivity. And it's been a huge personal honor to have finally got to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you very Please. much. Thank you.